On September 14, 2015, in the middle of the night, the LIGO Observatory detected for the first time a gravitational wave produced by the collision of two black holes forming a larger black hole. The signal was seen first in the detector in Livingston, Louisiana, and seven milliseconds later in the detector in Hanford, Washington. The gravitational wave that was observed was predicted by Einstein's theory of general relativity for the dance of two black holes that collided into a larger black hole. The original black holes had each 30 and 40 solar masses, and when they fused, they formed a larger black hole with 60 times the sun's mass. This event emitted a lot of energy, and it happened a long time ago, more than one billion years ago. The energy emitted by the event was more than three solar masses, but it traveled 400 megaparsecs until arriving to Earth, and when it arrived, it had a very, very small effect. It changes distances only by a part in 10 to the 21. However, the LIGO detectors are very sensitive, and this gravitational wave could be measured with great precision. That precision is the one that tells us the distance and the masses of the black holes and the origin of these gravitational waves. This is the first time that gravitational waves are detected, and these observations tell us about black holes existing in binary system with solar masses. We are waiting to see many more of these events when the LIGO detectors improve their sensitivity and the Virgo detector joined the international network later this year.